Yo, what's up everyone, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna give you some tips for doing your first cliff drop. Cliff drops are super fun to do on your snowboard on a powder day. It's a great way to get creative with more freestyle tricks on a powder day. And honestly, just one of my favorite things to do. So I'll give you guys step-by-step step how you can be successful with a cliff drop. The first thing that you wanna do is inspect the landing. I never just hit a cliff drop without knowing that the landing is going to be soft. So this doesn't mean that you have to go and actually stand in the landing, but it's good to ride by the landing first, make sure that the snow is nice and soft and deep, and that you're not going to be landing into any trees or rocks at the bottom. Always do one run through, inspect the landing, and make sure it's all clear. Next, when you're ready to actually do the cliff drop, it's a good idea to slide up to the edge and take a look. So by sliding up to the edge, it just gives you that idea of how big the drop's gonna be, where you wanna take off from, and in your mind, you can set a mental picture of everything that's gonna happen. So by looking at the takeoff and landing, it's gonna help you to create that mental picture. When you're setting up to do the cliff drop, it's good to have enough distance between yourself and the edge of the cliff so that you can point your snowboard straight. One common mistake with cliff drops is just not giving yourself enough room to point your snowboard straight. So make sure that you give yourself at least like five or six feet of space so that you can turn your board and point it straight off the cliff. So as I'm going towards the cliff, first thinking about that I have my speed dialed, so I'm not going too slow or too fast. I'm going the right speed so I can land in the sweet spot of the drop. The next thing I'm thinking about is making sure that I come off of the lip of the drop from a flat base. So from that flat base, that also sets me up for the flat landing. If I'm too heavy on my heels or too heavy on my toes, then your balance can be off for the landing as well. So coming off the cliff drop, off the lip from a flat base. Once I'm into the air, I'm thinking about bending my knees so that I can stay a bit more compact and balanced. I'm also looking to spot the landing. And from that position of spotting the landing and feeling in control, I can get ready for the landing. Landing a cliff drop is much different than doing a landing normally on a jump. On a cliff drop, you gotta be more onto your back foot. When you land into powder, one issue is landing too far forward. And if you're too far forward, then your nose is gonna catch, making you tumble forward. The other issue is if you're too far back, your board's gonna slip out and you're gonna slide out onto your butt in the powder. So it's important that your weight is back enough so that you can keep your nose up, but it's not too far back that you don't slip out. Trying to find that perfect balance so that you can land on the back foot and then ride it out straight. One thing that will really help you land a lot more cliff drops is thinking about the ride out. One thing that I visualize ahead of time is not just the takeoff and landing, but also the three or four turns I'm doing after. And a lot of time, if I'm focused on really doing those three or four turns out, that helps me to get to that point. Getting that clean takeoff, being in the air, landing on the back foot, but then focusing on those two or three turns that help you to ride it out and continue on your way with your powdered line. One bonus tip for landing a cliff drop, having a powder specific snowboard with a tail can really help you land these drops. Trying a cliff drop with a pow board that doesn't have a tail can be really difficult. Without a tail, you're most likely gonna slip out every time. But if you've got a good powder board that has a big enough tail, that can really help you to land more drops. Amazing, so I hope these tips will help you land cliff drops. If you guys have any tips that I missed, it'd be great to hear from you down in the comments. I'll also put some of my favorite powder gear down below in the description. Have fun out there snowboarding guys and learning cliff drops, and I'll see you in the next video soon.